Hi guys, Hazel Jackson Gona here in Argentina. Um, and just going to talk a little bit about um, po like polo and, and the sport and training for it. Um, anyway, so let's start with this, with the questions. So question number one, what do you think the most important physical characteristic is for a polo player and how do you personally train and improve on this? Personally, I would think that um, your core muscles are the most important muscles. Um, they're muscles which you use the entire time when you play. Um, you pretty much use nearly every single muscle in your body when getting on a horse and during or throughout the game. Um, on top of that, um, so we do a lot of, when we train for this, we do a lot of um, core work, obviously, easy stuff, planks, da da da. Um, we do a lot of works, not necessarily with weights, but um, using your body, your own body strength for this. Um, on top of that, we also do a lot of sprints and stuff to change air because polo is, you know, it's very explosive, but also it, you know, it lasts for an, at least an hour each game. And the other thing I must have to admit is, it's really important to stretch your muscles because every single time you play polo, it's, it's a shortening, it's a tightening muscle um, kind of sport. So yoga and stuff is really, really important for that. Right, question number two, how do you prepare for, an, for a game or a tournament psychologically? Do you have any routines or strategies to control nerves and get yourself pumped before the game? So for me, it's really easy. The adrenaline naturally comes before every single game. Um, and I'm beginning to try and learn how to control it. For example, if I have, if I have a game in the afternoon, not to think about it so much in the morning and, and I'm getting pretty good at just, just sort of uh, like working with that adrenaline just before the game. Um, before I used to get quite nervous in the morning and I used to start thinking about the opposition and stuff like that, but I've, I've really learned to control that. Um, and then apart from that, psychologically, polo is extremely psychological um, and it obviously depends which tournament you're playing, um, how important it is, finals, semi-finals, it's a really big difference. Um, and I think sports psychologists are really good with that and I'm just beginning to start that as of a few months so yeah but I think it's really important to have downtime and well during tournament season. Question number three people say polo is 80% horses and 20% the rider do I agree with this statement 100% and do you think polo players spend enough time working on their 20% um, I think the sport is really um, becoming a lot more technical and training and prepare, preparation for the games has changed a lot and it's becoming a lot more it's becoming a lot more um, technical and and the sport is evolving there's a lot more video playbacks um, so I think yeah everyone is obviously personal training and stuff like that and it's very very important um, and yeah I mean to be honest I don't feel like enough players take enough lessons. There's a lot of players, myself for example, who I'm still a low goal handicap player and I'm trying to get lessons, trying to get advice from other people. I realise my bad habits, I'm learning my bad habits, I want to change that. Um, so no, I think it's super important, I think you can never stop learning and I think we're a little bit naive in the fact that we, that we think that we're good and we don't take enough lessons and we can always improve. Question number four, for someone who is just beginning in polo, what do you think the most important aspect of the game is to learn and how would you go about training it? Okay, personally, of course, when you play polo, hitting the ball and running to goal is the most satisfying part of the sport and it's the most fun part. And for me, the riding. Me for the riding and the understanding of the horses is the most important game. If you can, is the most important part. If you can do that well, and you can understand the horse and understand what it needs, when to go for a play, when to not go for a play, so you get the most out of the horse. I think that's the most important part of the sport. Um, I think riding is really, really important. Getting your position on the horse is really important. And I think riding without stirrups and riding bareback to, to work your leg muscles is vital. Final question number five. If there was one piece of advice you could give your former self when learning to play polo, what would it be? So 20 years later, <laughs> I've picked up a lot of bad habits and I think my main advice would be to get help from the beginning, ask a professional, ask a manager, um, someone who can help you a lot, someone who you trust, 
um, to put you on the right horses, to put you in the right direction, to tell you when you're doing something wrong so you can adjust it quickly. I think polo is a sport where it's very easy. You can quickly pick up bad habits. And I think that's it. Ooh.